Hello viewers, welcome to this video. I'm Venkat and this is just me an open source channel. Right, this video is for many viewers who asked me about my uh, terminal setup. So I've had various comments from many users asking me um, how I set up my uh, terminal, how I'm using my Z shell, uh, Tmax and basically it looks pretty uh, although I can customize it further, um, I just did a basic customization and I wanted to share with uh, with you guys. If if you want to um, use this setup, you can you can feel free to um, use it. It's a basic thing. You don't have to worry about too much of complex configurations. It's a very simple um, basic settings which worked for me very well, uh, and I've been using that for for more than two three years. Okay, so this is for all those viewers who asked me how. I'm how I've configured my terminal. So although I'm using uh, Arch Linux, I wanted to show you how how to set up this on your Ubuntu machine because I guess most of you guys are using Ubuntu uh, and not uh, Arch Linux. But anyways, if you follow this, uh, if you follow the steps, uh, it should be fairly similar on any distribution that you use. Okay, so. Basically, what I'm using now is a bash shell get and password Ubuntu. That's the default user, and you can see the default shell is bash. And I'm using Ubuntu 18.04, and let's see if we have got ZSH installed. So I don't have ZSH. Do I have Tmux? Yes, I do have Tmux. So Tmux is installed by default on Ubuntu 18.04, it seems. Okay, so let's install uh, ZSH first. Z shell sudo apt install Z shell. Okay, Z shell is installed. Which Z shell? Z shell is there. Okay, so the next thing is um, upon installing Z shell, I uh, install the oh my Z shell. Uh, environment on top of the Z shell. So if you search for oh my ZSH and go to the GitHub repository and you can see how to install it. So the basic installation you can install either using curl or wget whichever you have. Which curl I have curl I have wget as well. So let's install using the curl copy it and paste it. So it's going to check out the code from the GitHub repository and ask you for your password. So what it's doing is it's going to change your default shell from bash to Z shell. Okay cool so that's uh, done. So now your default shell is, uh, has been changed to Z shell. If you do get and password Ubuntu and there you go your default shell has been changed to Z shell. Okay, so I'm gonna log out and log back in. I'm using LXC machine container uh, for this Ubuntu image. Okay, so I'm in my Z shell and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install uh, ZSH auto suggestion plugin. ZSH auto suggestion there is a github link for that one and you can go to the install instructions by clicking this link install.md and since we have got oh my z shell install already it's this command that you need to run to install zsh auto suggestion plugin paste it and run it so it's going to find uh, your default oh my ZSH uh, installation directory, which is this one, oh my ZSH custom plugins and ZSH auto suggestions uh, gets installed under this directory. Okay, that's installed and we need to enable this plugin. So edit your .zsh rc file and go to plugins plugin. So by default git plugin is enabled and you're going to add zsh auto suggestions to this plugin. 
Okay, that's done. And either you can source CSHRC or you can log out and log back in for it to take effect. So what happens when you install ZSH auto suggestion? So it's going to give you uh, a productive way of using your history command. Okay, so as you can see here, if I just start typing some characters, it's going to um, suggest you. So git clone and you can see in the background um, uh, the command that's from the history. So if I do history less and there is this command and if I start typing get end and it will uh, automatically fill this one for me. Get end and you can see from the history uh, it has picked up and it's showing that in the background and if you want to uh, use that just hit the right arrow key and it will autocomplete git clone and right arrow key and it gets auto completed so that's a cool feature for uh, ZSH and the next thing is I've changed my uh, prompt uh, from the default one to something different so the ZSH uh, theme that I'm using is the default one which is Robbie Russell theme the theme should be in vi o my z shell themes robbie russell dot zsh dash theme so this is where you've got your custom prompt so what i've done is i've changed the uh, the unicode character the arrow mark here to uh, a different setting and you've also got the uh, the git uh, related symbol so when you are in a git uh, repository and if you have edited some of the files and you will see that x icon saying that your github has been modified your git repository has been modified i'll show you that i've also changed that to a different symbol okay so for unicode i use this url unicode if you search for unicode table Unicode character table and in here I use the geometric shapes extended and that's the one that I use I prefer copy and I'm gonna paste that here paste that twice is that twice and then for the github dirty symbol I use this one copy and paste it okay and the other thing I I'm going to do is so if I just save this file and do a source CSHRC you can see uh, it appears here that the prompt that I changed but it doesn't look pretty I want this to appear at the end so I'm going to edit that theme again and the return status I'm going to delete that return status so return status is a variable uh, that's the one that's defined here I'm going to put that at the end dollar within flower braces return underscore status and I'm also going to reset the color because uh, if it's a, a bad exit, exit code not equal zero, the arrow mark will be red, and whatever you type after the uh, uh, after it will inherit that color. So let me show you what happens now. Source dot zshrc. There you go. So now if I type some command, and you can see uh, the color has not been reset, and now it's red okay so let's go back and edit that file again I'm gonna reset the color here percent dollar reset color percent okay source zshrc that looks better so now the color has been reset to white and the other thing I was going to do is um, make it a bit bold bold um, I've got an extra space here delete that okay so, cool so that's all I wanted for my customization 
Okay, so if I go into uh, a GitHub repository, oh my Z shell, and you can see that the the yellow star icon, which means uh, it's dirty. Something has been uh, modified in this GitHub repository. Uh, so as I show showed you in my zshrc, we have it's in my home directory plugins. So we have the uh, the Git plugin installed by default, and uh, if you do alias and search for Git, um, so since you installed the Git plugin, uh, the Git plugin uh, was installed by default. You can see all these alias for Git. If you're a heavy Git user, a power a Git power user, then you might find these uh, aliases useful. I personally use GST to show Git status. So that's the uh, the Robbie Russell theme that we modified. So that's why it's showing uh, our GitHub repository is dirty. Okay. Um, the other thing is, if you are using Kubernetes, there is a cool plugin for that as well. So in here, if you add uh, kubectl, um, you can make use of. Uh, Kubernetes kubectl auto-completion feature and uh, similar to git you will have lots of alias for kubectl. Just a quick tip um, as this is my virtual machine I don't have kubectl installed. Okay the next thing is tmux. So I've got tmux installed um, and the thing I'm going to install is so let's start tmux and you can see it's pretty ugly the pretty default one um, I used PowerLine to configure my Tmux status bar. So sudo apt update and then we're going to install a package called PowerLine. So once that package is installed we need to add a line to the Tmux configuration. sudo apt install PowerLine. Okay, PowerLine is installed. Um, ls user share powerline bindings. You have bindings for various uh, things for Z shell, TC, uh, TC shell, and Tmux. Tmux, okay, so you've got everything. LX Tmux powerline.conf. So that's the, uh, the config file that we are going to use in our Tmux configuration. I'm going to copy that. VI Tmux dot Conf, vi .tmux .conf. So that's your default tmux configuration. So when you start tmux, tmux is going to read the configuration from this file by default, .tmux .conf. So at the moment I haven't got anything, but my proper tmux configuration is um, looks a little bigger. Looks a li little bigger. I've got lots of customizations, but for this demo I haven't got anything. It's a plain, simple .tmux .conf file. And the only thing I'm going to add is source the power line configuration. Copy it. And now if I start a new Tmux session, you can see the cool uh, status bar here. Uh, it gives you the time, the host name, date, uh, the load average, uptime, and your tabs. Cool. Control B and double quotes to split the pane um, horizontally. And if you want to split the pane vertically, uh, it's control B and uh, percent symbol. Okay, cool. Right, um, that's all. I don't have any 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 complex setup. So that's uh, that's what I use in my terminals. I use Arch Linux, um, GNOME desktop environment, um, and the uh, Tmux, Z shell, oh my Z shell, uh, and then the power line. So that's it. So that gives me a lot of productivity advantage of using uh, Z shell. Okay, so hopefully you found it useful and uh, I now have this video and uh, whoever is going to ask me how my terminal was set up, I'm going to forward them this video instead of typing them in the comment. Um, I've already uh, mentioned this uh, to more than five, six viewers. So as more and more people are uh, asking me about this, I thought to do a video which would help other viewers. Cool.
thank you so much for your time watching this video and if you've got any cool uh, trips uh, sorry tricks or tips blah 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 this morning my English is not good okay uh, yeah if you've got any tips on using Z shell any productivity tools that you use um, just share it with other users you can you can come uh, in this video right I will see you all in my next video bye bye